After the docking, the transfer of the crew and their precious samples of the moon to Columbia, the ascent stage of the Eagle was jettisoned. It was time for the final burn in lunar orbit. Trans-Earth Injection, TEI. This is the Columbia Command Module. It's from the Apollo 11 mission, and this was the first lunar landing mission in July 1969. So this was part of a multi-part spacecraft. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon with the lunar module. Uh, Mike Collins stayed in this command module. It, you can see its history if you look closely. You can see the where um, it came through uh, the Earth's atmosphere, and you can see the effects of that um, experience if you look closely at the spacecraft. And this was basically the home for the astronauts on their way to the moon. It's quite tight, so it can be compared to the size of three phone booths, if you can think of that. When Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were walking on the moon, Command Module pilot Michael Collins uh, remained in Columbia orbiting the moon. Uh, once they were done with the moonwalk, they, they launched from the moon and they rejoined Columbia and um, they made their way back home. For the most part, Columbia has been here at the Air and Space Museum, but actually immediately after the first lunar landing, it went on a tour of all U.S. capitals. So it traveled the 50 states so that um, Americans could see it firsthand. And then it came to the Smithsonian and it's been on display for many years. This is, I think, one of the most important artifacts in uh, the history of space exploration. Um, it's one of the most important artifacts we have here at the Smithsonian.